through. So this is Sean with Voices of Racing. We're here with Charlie Patterson in Silo, and there's a pace car behind you that's owned by a gentleman that you knew his father. And you spoke to him earlier, and what was his name? Jared Krisloff. Jared Krisloff. And yes. his father was who? Steve Krisloff. Which was? Well, he was a driver at the Speedway and a good friend of mine through a lot of years. He, uh, we were around together a whole lot for several years, and he was quite the driver at the time. And his grandparents were uh, Mary Holman? Yeah, his, yeah, the Holman family. Uh, Mary, Mary Holman was his grandmother. Right. And uh, I knew her well. I went to dinner with her many times, and I was with the whole family. Her, her dad, Tony Holman. He used to get me, he'd catch me going into the speedway and he'd make me come in the office. And he wanted to find out how the cows were milking and how the hogs were doing. And because he, he thought it was great that I was working on the farm and building race cars. So the, right, home, so the home and family was very special to me. So what do you think about this facility silo and all the cars in it? Oh, this is a beautiful place. It's just such a clean, neat place. And I, I was overwhelmed when I walked in the door and saw the beauty in this place. It's, uh, the beauty of the story and all is quite something. And what, what are some of the cars in here that kind of stand out to you? Well, <laughs> the one thing is that old army truck sitting there that we're looking at, uh, that I'm looking at there, that's, uh, that's quite, a, quite a piece of equipment right there. And it just the general, the general outlay of all the cars, there's a lot of cars here that I had one just like that growing up through the years, uh, and I just, uh, I'm just amazed at all of the the beauty of it. There's a there's a race car right here, right to my left. That's uh, I've watched them run down at uh, some of the tracks. I used to go down and watch them run at a little test track with a car just like that. And of course, I built the Indy cars for years, and there's an Indy car setting up the way there. And, this, this place just amazes me, so. Well, there's also gonna be a book signing for Alan Sir Jr. that we're gonna be here for when the BBC's in town, because we're, we're, we're essentially helping put together a film that's gonna showcase your racing history and also Cheryl Glass, uh, what she did, and getting to the Hall of Fame and Sprint Car, which you helped her achieve that, and, uh, and also some other individuals that are within the realm of racing, but that's going to be here in a couple of weeks. Are you looking forward to that as far as oh, the BBC? Yeah. I'm looking forward to that because Al Lancer Jr., I watched him the day he first started driving race cars, and uh, I ran around with his dad for years, and uh, the Unser family, uh, they're a very special family. His grandmother, she made chili for years. She was the famous chili maker, and... Uh, there was nothing any better than eating a bowl of Mom Unser's chili. So uh, that that family is uh, pretty special to me. So. That's great. Well, hopefully we'll be doing a little interview with you and Al together on uh, the 18th when he has his book signing here at Silo. So it should be pretty neat. But uh, I just I really appreciate your time, Charlie, and you know being able to do your life story and get you published and Seniors Guide and everything. We've had a nice road, but I look forward to the road ahead with all the. Uh, racing things you're still involved with there might be a team next year for a big race we can't talk about uh, but we're working on it yet but it, it could be and it looks pretty good so okay all right well i thank you for your time and this will be at silocarstories.com this is sean from voices of racing and i'm signing out thank you